Hello everybody. I'm gonna wait a second. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm here in the Thermidor kitchen. The kitchen I always cook in. So pretty. Um, here's the oven we normally use. It's a double oven. And then we have our wonderful cooking area right here. And today, we're gonna be making buffalo wontons. These are super yummy. They're a great food, especially as New Year's is approaching and everyone needs snacks as we're waiting for the ball to drop. So these are super easy and super good. I'll show you what they look like. Um, here are the buffalo wontons. So, we're gonna get started. Um, you can see I already have my plate. It's just a simple cupcake plate. And I filled them with wonton wrappers. And I have one more left so I can show you guys how I do it. So I'm going to grab and get it. My wonton wrapper, you can see it's pretty thin. Um, and I'm gonna put it evenly. I'm just gonna push down and make sure it gets all around the edges and they're gonna overlap. I'll show you guys kind of overlap on the sides. You can see here, as I pushed them down, they're kind of overlapping, but they're gonna bake, and so it's all gonna be okay. But the main thing is to try and get them even on all sides. Um, so you can see there's my beautiful wonton wrappers in the cupcake pan. Um, so I'm gonna move this to the side right now, and we're gonna start making our buffalo. It's pretty much like buffalo dip, honestly. So I have um, about four ounces of cream cheese. It might be a little more, honestly, but I love cream cheese. So um, that's okay with me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever had dip, but there's like, you can never get enough cream cheese. So this is about four ounces, probably a little more, honestly. Um, and so I have a cup of hot sauce we're gonna pour in there. Um, so that's actually probably less than a cup. Um, so you can change how much hot sauce you want based off how spicy you want it. Um, so if it's a family friendly event and you're gonna have a bunch of kids there, I would recommend a little less than a cup of hot sauce. Um, but if you really love buffalo and you really wanna go for it, put the full cup, just know it's gonna be spicy. <laughs> um, and then we have a third cup of ranch. We're gonna, oopsies, <laughs> I just dropped it. A third cup of ranch we're gonna pour in there. It's gonna get it nice and yummy. Right off the side, and now I'm just gonna mix it. Um, so we're mixing together the buffalo, the cream cheese, and the ranch right now. Um, and these, this mixture is actually gonna be scooped into the wonton cups, and then we're gonna bake it. Um, so like I said, this is a super easy recipe, perfect for New Year's. Um, and so now I'm gonna take my pan of, I kind of cheated, I got <laughs> pre-shredded chicken. Um, but, oh well, it's still gonna taste just as good. Um, pre-shredded chicken, and I'm just gonna pour it in here, and I'm just gonna mix it all around. Super good, it's buffalo chicken wontons. And I'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm done mixing. So once again, we have four ounces of sour cream. We have a little less than a cup of buffalo or hot sauce. And then we have um, a third cup of ranch. This is so good. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. This looks delicious. I could honestly eat this with chips. It's so good. You can see. Perfect. So yummy. Okay, so now that we have our buffalo mixture complete and it's nice and mixed, it's super easy. So we grab our wonton plate that we put to the side a little earlier. And I'm gonna put this right here. And we're just gonna scoop some of it in there. So we're just gonna scoop it straight into the wonton. Um, you can fill it up pretty full. I wouldn't recommend like overfilling it. 
Um, and I'll show you guys once I get done how much I fill it up. But then you're gonna wanna preheat your oven for 425. So 425 degrees on your oven. Um, again, we have a convection bake oven here, so that's what I'm using. But any oven works at 425. Um, and you're gonna wanna bake it for about 18 minutes until the edges of the wonton start to get dark. So you're gonna be able to see like the wonton starting to bake and get darker. And that's how you know it is ready. Um, I did kind of shred my chicken a little more. Like I said, I brought it pre-shredded. Um, so I guess you could say I cheated. But um, I did shred it a little bit more because it is having to fit into a cupcake pan. And I'm just trying to make sure it's all in there nice and good. And I'll show you guys what this looks like. So I've done two rows over there. So I've done two rows so far. And these are what they look like. So we're gonna put that in the oven at 425 for 18 to 20 minutes um, until they start to get kind of crispy brown on the edges. And so this is what your final product will look like. You can see how it's kind of crispy brown on the edges. Um, it's a cute little hand-sized, bite-sized treat. Um, perfect for games or New Year's as you're waiting for the ball to drop. It's on our Happy Everything plate. And then I always have it with a side of ranch because um, I just love buffalo and ranch and it kind of cools the heat if you're not a big buffalo fan. It really helps, um, or if you love buffalo, like I said, you can add more hot sauce to determine how hot you want your buffalo bites. Um, so like I said, I'll put these in the oven at 425 for 18 to 20 minutes, um, and they will be perfect. So let us know if you try them. Let us know how you like them. If you do all buffalo or just a little buffalo, how much do you like the spice? Um, yeah. So, I'll show you one more time our mixture. It looks super good. And honestly, I feel like you could eat this with chips, but uh, I guess you're supposed to put in the wontons. <laughs> I love buffalo, though. I'm a big fan of buffalo. So, oven, 425, 18 to 20 minutes. Pull them out, and they'll be ready to eat. Serve them with a little bit of ranch. You can top them with the um, little decorations if you want. I don't know what you would put on them, maybe chives or something. But yeah, let us know if you try them. Let us know if you like them. I will post the recipe shortly. Thank you guys for watching. Come in and see us. I posted our holiday hours on our stories. I'll post them again tomorrow just to keep you guys updated. We'd love for you to come in the store and see us. We're open today until 6 p.m. So come in, see us, try the buffalo wontons, and let us know how you like them. Thank you. Bye.